<laughs> What's up guys, CP the one and only Mouse Gamer. Right now what you are seeing on the screen is the GameStop code, which is kind of clever how they spelled it, to get the werewolf code. Now I heard that these are all universal codes. I will release another video uh, having more codes, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an overall uh, understanding on how to change your character because it's about like a three-step process. So what you want to do first is make sure you actually unlock the character like we just did uh, once you get a code or once you unlock a, a different character in the game. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to go into the lineup as you can see right there. And again this is at the uh, main police station, the, like the main headquarters where everything is taking place. It's the very first thing that you see pretty much in the game. Um, and that's where we are. So basically you want to just, we're going to change up the character right now um, and just go through this process and, and change them up. Uh, and, and you can, and the other cool thing about this, of course, is, is that you can make any character you want. Like the more pieces you have, obviously, as you know, like real Legos, you can make whatever you want. Right now, I'm just gonna do the uh, main werewolf, but we, you know, you could make a werewolf cop. You could, I'm sure there's like vampire skins that you can get or, or pieces, I should say. Uh, should be kind of cool. I don't know, like what a lot of people might come up with. And there's gonna be 240 different Lego characters that you can eventually unlock, which I am pretty excited about. There might even be some DLC. Uh, maybe some, maybe somebody can make a Mario or something. You never know. All right, so now we're done with that. Let's uh, let's go out here. And this is the very first time I'm doing this. You, you should see this if it's the very first time. You've unlocked the disguise booth. So luckily for us, the disguise booth um, is right down there by the gym. And I, apparently they're all over the city as well. I haven't discovered all the spots where they are, but I'm sure they're conveniently located. All right, so let's jump down here. And now you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing on the Wii pad, unfortunately, but what I'm doing is I'm just changing the character um, to the werewolf and I'm putting him in my set. I hope this helped, guys. Have a fantastic day. Got more videos coming. Peace, I'm out. Commentaries, gameplays, and vlogs all are found on CP's channel that you're watching now. But take a small disclaimer, y'all in danger. You're now tuned in to the Monster Gamer.